The hunt for the ultimate snow experience can take you from the wilds of the Rocky Mountains to the shimmering peaks of the Swiss Alps. We're looking for deep powder, massive runs, awesome aerials, and the apres scene that just won't quit. So strap yourself in, grab a lift, and head for the hills. This is Uber Guide's countdown of the world's best ski vacations. The pursuit of the ultimate adrenaline rush inevitably leads to crazy harebrained stunts that defy all odds and gravity. That's why Chamonix, the world's birthplace of extreme skiing, is number 10 on Uber Guide's list of top ski vacations. If you're a free rider with a flair for danger, then look no farther. You found Nirvana. The home of the Winter Olympics in 1924, Chamonix is located in eastern France, with the tallest peak west of Russia staring the town right in the face. Mont Blanc towers above everything else. You see all the Alps. You can see the Materon, you can see the Monte Rosa, you can see the south of the Alps. The landscape is fantastic and the view is extraordinary. You can touch the top of the Alps with your eyes and with your spirit. One author has described Chamonix as the death sport capital of the world. With things to do like rock and ice climbing, and Uber Guide's favorite, hang gliding, this place has earned its reputation well. But the main attraction is the skiing, and you better be good at it, because there are no second chances on this mountain. Chamonix is really known as the daredevil center of skiing in Europe. It's not for the faint-hearted, basically. It's a very intrepid, maverick mentality that's also very French. We're going, we're doing this. If you don't want to come, you're, uh, <laughs> you're feeble. If you're into that adrenaline-seeking adventure, it's certainly a good location to do that. For the world's top skiers, Chamonix is simply the best there is. No other hill can match Chamonix's mythical glacier descents and freaky vertical drops. It's just so high up, the snow's fantastic. There's so many different ways you can get down the mountain, there's so many different routes you can take. I don't think there's anywhere in the world that gives you the access to ski mountaineering like Chamonix does. There's always an aspect or an elevation that will be fantastic, whether it's the height or the different sides of the valley here. The worst winter in Chamonix is the best winter anywhere else. The town features two main ski areas. Those looking for a more relaxed approach to carving up the slopes, then Les Houches is for you. But if nothing gets you off like a high-stakes freestyle ski encounter, then a trip up the Aiguille du Midi to the Vallée Blanche run is a must. This is the Aiguille du Midi. We've just been uh, climbing around in these uh, caves and caverns and tunnels to get out here, and we're about to climb down the uh, the arrow. We've got the crampons and got the rope, and uh, hopefully not going to fall off the side. But uh, beware, mostly skiers beware. Big warning sign. This is where skiers go to die, and they all end up in heaven. Believe me. You can do anything you want in Chamonix. Some of the best mountaineers in the world are here practicing and learning their trade every day. In the shadow of these towering mountains lies the heartbeat of the area, the vibrant town of Chamonix. With a history dating back multiple centuries, the unique architecture and atmosphere beckon to a bygone era. The mecca of extreme skiing offers up some fun partying options. The most famous après ski destination in town is Micro Brasserie de Chamonix. It's owned by a couple of transplanted Canadians. In town, you have a lot of Swedish bars, you have a lot of French bars. Here, you get a mix of every type of nationality you could possibly imagine. This is probably one of the only places, maybe because we're Canadian, that the French and the English mix. Once the sun rises over those majestic peaks, there's only one place to be, 
on the slopes of the world's ultimate extreme ski destination, Chamonix. And that's why it's number 10 on Uber Guide's list of the best ski vacations. As we crisscross the globe, we're highlighting the best ski destinations on Earth. Deep powder, steep slopes, and terrain parks abound at every turn. And our next ski destination continues this trend. Uberguide's ninth pick, Banff, Alberta. Only a two-hour drive from Calgary, Banff is surrounded by skyward-soaring, majestic mountains. It looks like the lakes, the glacier-fed lakes, were airbrushed because they're so blue. I mean, the nature there is incredibly spectacular. But it's what's in those mountains that gave Banff its humble beginnings, the springs. Banff National Park was established in 1886. It was three railway workers that found a hot springs. As years went by, skiing started to develop. As it developed, it became, uh, you know, an international resort. Named for these famous natural hot springs is the stately Banff Springs Hotel. Opened in 1888, it is one of the most incredible hotels in the world. This hotel is really in a unique location. This was the first hotel built in the area. So we're entering our 120th year of operation. This is definitely the landmark destination where everybody wants to come. After Calgary hosted the 1988 Olympics, Banff put itself on the map as one of the world's best ski destinations. Nestled deep in a valley, the town is minutes from the three main ski areas. Norquay, the locals' paradise. It's a great place to get to really quickly. It's a great place to spend some time. It's got a beautiful lodge up there. And it's really known for uh, its quick access and its quick back to your hotel room kind of environment. Lake Louise, land of the vistas. Lake Louise Mountain Resort is one of the most beautiful scenic ski resorts in the world. It's got some of the most incredible panoramic views from the top. So much terrain that they probably won't get a chance in a week to ski the same runs twice. We love Lake Louise! It's the largest ski hill in the Canadian Rockies, and it's the site of both the Women's and Men's World Cup. We have the likes of Bodie Miller, Herman Meyer that come test their skills at World Cup races there every winter. And Sunshine, aptly named for all the sunshine. Sunshine Village is known for its spectacular scenery high up in the Alpine. Being as high as it is, over 7,000 to 9,000 feet, you're getting amazing amounts of natural snow. We get over 30 feet of snow each year, combined with our elevation, and we're situated right in the continental divide. Whatever snow we get in the winter time stays here all winter. Right here, I am standing on the continental divide. This leg here is in BC, and this one here is in Alberta, so this is just right in the middle. The snow here is the best. Oh, it's really nice. I think it's the best we've experienced so far. <laughs> When the steep slopes of sunshine have quenched your palate, you can find no shortage of apre back in town. One of the places to rock is the Hoodoo Lounge, right in the middle of Banff. But for the best in culinary execution, Fuse Finer Dining will satisfy even the fussiest of appetites. After a great meal and a good night's sleep, nature beckons all around. We don't have ATVs running around everywhere. We don't have snowmobiles running up and down the street. What you see is just Mother Nature at her best. And like every world-class ski destination, the Chateau at Lake Louise provides glamorous comforts only found with a thick pocketbook. So if you have a hankering for a Rocky Mountain ski experience second to none, Banff is the only way to go, which places it at number nine on Uber Guide's list of top ski vacations. Coming up, a ski resort built entirely from scratch that's grown into the most luxurious destination in the French Alps, next on Uber Guide. Yeah. 
Uber guide search for the ultimate ski vacation has traversed the French birthplace of extreme skiing and soared through the dramatic peaks of the Canadian Rockies. Now, let's see where we're off to next. If you are rich, famous, and feel the need for some serious snow speed, then Uber Guide's number eight pick for top ski vacation is where you want to be. Courcheval has slopes littered with stars and a ski experience second to none. Awash with money, ego, and charm, this resort takes the me generation to new heights, literally. Located in the Savoy region of the French Alps, Courcheval was built completely from scratch. Nothing existed here before designers set foot in the area during the Second World War. That freedom to construct the resort from the ground up has translated into a creativity that exists to this day, embodied by the fabulous free skiing that's now enjoyed on the pristine groomed runs. You can leave your back door of your hotel. You can go and ski on 600 kilometers of slopes 200 lifts, ski all day, never take a bus, never take a car, and you come back to the back door of your hotel on your skis. An awesome skier's paradise, Courcheval caters to everyone from extreme snowheads to fresh beginners. There's plenty to do for all the family. You know, there's ice skating, there's rock climbing. This for a family resort. We come here every year because it just can't be beat. The resort features 63 different lifts and 117 downhill runs, over 150 kilometers of supernatural slopes. The Verdun gondola whisks you halfway up the hill with the SAR tram completing the trip. Once on top, the view is breathtaking. On days like this, it's hard to beat. Excellent snow record, good etiquette on the, uh, on the slopes from most skiers, and huge terrain is the best thing. After a day on the slopes cruising with the rich and famous, it's time to satisfy your palate at La Chabichou, Courcheval's premier dining experience. Following dinner, you could certainly do worse than retire at the Hotel Manali, Courcheval's top-ranked guesthouse. Your dreams will only be limited by your imagination as your head hits the pillow. If skiing isn't your bag, and spending money is, the shopping is to die for. Designer labels are everywhere. Plus, that famous French attitude is in abundance here. You can't play if you don't pay. Uh, we are certainly the only ski resort that you can drink potentially Southern Euro bottle of Petrus wine from 1945 uh, with your ski boots on, actually. Courcheval is really in its prime back up on the slopes. Famous for being the most luxurious ski resort in the Alps, Courcheval is the place to ring up the tab and show off the bling. And that's why it's number eight on Uber Guide's list of the world's top ski vacation destinations. After hosting the 2002 Winter Olympics, Salt Lake City, Utah became famous for more than just the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Tucked away in the mountains, just outside the city are Park City Mountain Resort and Deer Valley Resort. The two together make up our number seven pick on Uber Guide's top ski vacations. There are several ski resorts surrounding Salt Lake City, but these two are very unique. Both are 35 minutes from the city's international airport, so you can hit the slopes the day you land. And once you get here, be ready to kick it. At Deer Valley, the service starts the moment you arrive. Attendants remove your skis from your car even before you park. Renowned for pampering its guests, there's no request too extreme for this place. We have everything for everybody and it's, it's the Deer Valley difference. We, we cater to our clientele. Great ski school, great groomers, we have great extreme skiing. You come to Deer Valley, you get a five-star experience. We have over 2,000 skiable acres, serviced by 22 lifts with six mountain peaks. And the reason why people come here is because we do not allow snowboarding. So you can't shred the slopes, but you don't really need to. If it's a bluebird day, you want to go straight for the groomers. If it's powder, you want to go into Empire Canyon and Lady Morgan Express. The resort is full of five-star accommodations, including the world-famous Stein Erickson Lodge, 
named for the mountain's founder. And when you look at the panoramic view here, this is ski heaven in my opinion. Minutes away, you'll find the Park City Mountain Resort, host site for the 2002 Winter Olympics. A hip, happening mountain that was once a mining site, it still has mine shafts throughout the hill. You know, when you look at our town and, and you see these old buildings and there's mining relics all over our mountain, we didn't put those there to look like, you know, maybe a Disney World, you know, have that kind of feel. It's all real. Park City is a favorite of experienced snowboarders. We have four separate train parks, plus the Eagle Super Pipe, one of the largest super pipes in North America. We've been ranked number one for the last four years by Trans World Snowboarding Magazine. World-class super pipe action. Park City is more than just great snowboarding. The wide open, groomed signature runs let intermediate skiers get a taste of advanced terrain. And the only thing softer than the famous Utah powder that collects in McConkie's bowl is the pillow you'll find at the Sky Lodge in Park City. We have a wonderful grand piano here for your music delight. On my left, we have a full kitchen completely stocked. We have a deck that is 360 degrees overlooking downtown Park City as well as the resorts. Take a walk down the historic Park City Main Street. Originally a mining town, it is still steeped in tradition. We have a siren that goes off each night in town at 10 o'clock. Back in the days of mining, it was a way of telling the miners it was time to stop, you know, having fun and go back to their wives. Park City is also home to the Sundance Film Festival each year. You can walk the streets with the rich and famous and watch the movies at the world-renowned Egyptian theater. There is no shortage of fun, luxury, and skiing at Park City and Deer Valley, bringing them in at number seven on UberGuide's top ski vacations. Up next, one of the world's first ski resorts shows off its stylish side. And later, we hit the slopes in Colorado. It's all coming up on UberGuide. From the French birthplace of extreme skiing and the wilds of the Canadian Rockies to the bling of Courcheval and the verticals of Park City, Uberguide has scoured the globe searching for the best ski vacations. Now we head to Europe for a luxury resort with a legendary history. This is Cortina, Italy, and it comes in at number six on our Uber list. Tucked away in the far north of Italy, Cortina is, pound for pound, one of the most breathtaking places in Europe. In World War I, the Austrians and the Italians battled it out for control of the mountainsides. Everywhere you look is picture postcard perfect. Cortina is known worldwide as the queen of the Dolomites because of its natural beauty. So whenever you look around, you will see that it is surrounded by impressive peaks, uh, huge ski slopes, uh, and uh, this is, I think, what it makes it really, really special. Because this is Italy, life here is about looking good, eating good, and having a good time. Even the cops drive cool cars. Cortina is considered one of the original ski resorts, the first lifts were built here almost 100 years ago, and a few of those early lifts are still around, like this rare single-seat chair. Riding this gives the skier a chance to soak up the Uber views. It's a bit like savoring a good Italian wine. The snow conditions are brilliant, so pretty. The mountains are just enchanting, I think. It's the quintessential European ski resort. You go to ski, but you also go to relax. Cortina sits in the middle of a vast ski region that links dozens of ski lift operators into one mega resort known as Dolomiti Super Ski, spread out over hundreds of kilometers. To explore every run would take a lifetime. If you've only got a few days, indulge in the luxury of your own private ski guide to show you the highlights, like these massive rock towers. 
Cinque Torre is a wonderful skiing area. You have breathtaking views, day trips, a ski safari, which brings you through the most beautiful passes in the Dolomites. The valley is so open, it's so wide, the mountain, the color of the mountain, many things together, I think. Perfetto, yes, perfect. <laughs> After a tough day on the slopes, head to town, where après skiing starts with a traditional aperitif at one of the many bars. We have a different après ski. People meet about 7, 7.30 in the evening. This is an Italian tradition. You mix with the local people. So you join them for an aperitif, then you go out for dinner. Perhaps the most famous is Enoteca, a quaint wine bar tucked into the oldest building in Cortina. Inside a room dating back 500 years lies 18,000 bottles of fine wine. If you've worked up a thirst for something expensive, this is the place to come. Everywhere here, it's a nice wine. Famous saint Million Chateau Ozon. To drink it here, about 700 euros. Once you've shared a bottle of wine, it's time to head for a late dinner at the Europa Hotel where award-winning chefs prepare some of the best food on the planet. Cortina has been drawing celebrities since the 1930s. Hotel de la Posti at the center of town was the favorite hangout of Ernest Hemingway and royalty. Up the hill at the Cristallo, you'll find a luxurious spa, elegant rooms, and a workout facility that will leave you short of breath. Cortina is a special place. Beautiful, relaxed, elegant. For looking good and kicking it old school, Cortina earns our number six spot on our Uber list. As we quest for the world's greatest ski resorts, we head back to the glorious Rockies and over to Colorado, where the rich and famous come to play. Our list would not be complete without the number five pick, Aspen, Colorado. What began as a quiet little mining town has grown up and is today one of the hottest winter destinations on the planet. Aspen really took off as a popular destination for the world in the 80s. We had a lot of incoming celebrities, a lot of important people coming here. It really put itself on the map. Hollywood's most famous love to come here to play. Jack Nicholson, Goldie Hawn, and Cameron Diaz are just a few of the resort's favorite guests. Stars come here primarily because they're not hounded. Everybody just hangs out, we work with them, we ski with them, and they're just people like us. We absolutely see a parking lot of private jets. <laughs> There's a sense that they're gonna be secret here. They're gonna just be like anybody else on the street. Nobody cares of the celebrities in town. It's easy to hide behind goggles, toques, and ski jackets, but no ski destination could make our list without top 10 snow. Aspen Resort boasts the best and costliest skiing in North America. No doubt it's worth every penny you spend. Aspen is the Miami of the Rockies. It's dry, it's warm. You know, I've been fortunate to ski many of the resorts in the Western US. We're spoiled here. Aspen Resort has it all, and it has it all for everyone. For the days you want to relax, there's buttermilk. The gentle beginner's mountain, but also has the X Games terrain park. For family fun, there's snow mass. It's family friendly, it's got cliff jumps, it's got everything you can want over there. Harsh black diamonds, head to Aspen Highlands. The terrain is unbelievable. You can actually hike the entire top of that and ski all the way down. There is a small cat ride that you can take if you'd like along the ridge of those trees, but then you hike it. You gotta earn the bowl. Once you get up there, the view is just stunning. If the steep rock and powder is more to your liking, Aspen Mountain is made for you. It's a steep hill. It's for the true skier or snowboarder. When you're finished shredding, the après around the village will keep you hopping well into the night. The J-Bar was a great, great just get a cocktail bar. You could see the cowboys cozying up there. 39 Degrees is without a doubt the young, hip, trendy place for all the beautiful people. 
It's got an incredible après scene, and they've got a big pool and hot tub outside with fire pits. Whether they've skied or not, that's where you're gonna après. You talk about skiing and the day and the clubs and what's happening and the music in town. They walk in and they go, ooh, this is kinda cool. Everything happens here in Aspen. There's a lot of art galleries here. There's the Wheeler Opera House. We have our local ballet. We have, you know, a drama. We have the short fest. Aspen has the culture that a, that a, a lot of the resorts are still cultivating. Shop a little, ski a little, drink a little. It's got everything. No Uber resort would be complete without Uber hotels, and Aspen does not disappoint. Hotel Jerome is on Main Street, and it's been here since the beginning of Aspen. It's an old mining hotel, and it's beautiful because you get that Old West vibe in there. Money no object, you stay at the Little Nell Hotel, no question. It's a five-star, five-diamond hotel, ski and ski out, right at the base of the gondola in Aspen. It's stunning, the service is top-notch, five-star restaurant, it's the best. Walk out of your suite and hit the most famous slopes in the world. Aspen, Colorado. Uber Guide's fifth pick on our list of the world's top ski vacations. Coming up, where in the world do British royalty hit the slopes? The answer is next as Uber Guide counts down the world's best ski vacations. Uber Guide's countdown of the world's best ski vacations has seen some incredible powder, views that go on forever, luxurious resorts, gourmet restaurants, and apres ski partying without equal. Now we're jetting to the Swiss Alps for the fourth spot on our list. Verbier is the backcountry mecca of the British monarchy. This Swiss mountain, just over the border from France, is a favorite with the British royal family. Our number four pick, Verbier has long been a European darling because of its steep slopes and action-packed apres ski. The image of Verbier we promote is definitely an active and sporty ski resort, off-piste skiing, heli skiing, ski touring. Verbier is tucked into the southeast corner of Switzerland right on the border with France and the famous ski resorts of Chamonix. Less than two hours from Geneva, Verbier is a magnet for the rich and courageous. On the mountain, an advanced lift system will whisk you from village to 11,500 feet in 40 minutes. And once you're up here, the views are spectacular. It looks great. It's um, beautiful. It's really nice. To the west, you can see the backside of the Matterhorn and Zermatt. To the south, the tallest mountain in Europe, Mont Blanc, dominates the horizon. With company like that, it's no surprise that this place is about steep, adrenaline-pumping slopes. Yeah, they're steep. It's, it's really challenging for me. I think we've been setting a pretty fast pace as well. Verbier attracts extreme skiers from around the world. They come to ski slopes like the Tortin. Tortin would be that steep. <laughs> Mo 4, where the world's fastest skiers gather each season to set new records. In the Mo 4, that's the top of the ski resort on 3,300 meters, slope 45 degrees. This is where we do speed skiing. The Swiss record in, in speed, 260 kilometers per hour. Verbier is in the French-speaking part of Switzerland. So after a long day of skiing, the Uber traveler can count on some hardcore apres ski at any one of a dozen bars. Great half to ski. There's a party here. There's a live band going. It's pumping. The Uber Lucky head for dinner at the ultra trendy Navai Hotel, where the menu is just as adventurous as the local slopes. 
Our customers are pretty hip. They're pretty young people here to ski and to party and have a good time. After dinner, it's up to the penthouse suite, where in the morning, guests are greeted by a glorious view from their hot tub or one of three separate balconies. Big mountain, really good partying, great restaurants, great hot backcountry skiing, good place to be. For doing it hardcore, Verbier comes in at number four. We now make one final trip back to the majestic Rockies. This range is so enormous, it's home to dozens of ski resorts. It only makes sense some of the world's best are found here. But to make our list, you've got to be special. Our number three ski destination is smack dab in the middle of these mountains, Vail Resort. Consistently North America's busiest ski getaway, there's no doubt it's one of the largest. Vail's definitely known for its size. We've got more than 5,000 acres. We've got seven bowls that stretch six miles. And you are surrounded by rugged mountain peaks. And the views are just fantastic. Vail is the largest single ski area in North America. You have your space to roam and play and enjoy the national forest. Bigger doesn't always mean better, unless you're Vail. There is an option for everybody, whether you're skiing or you're snowboarding, you're here with friends or family. You can find a niche on the mountain that really suits you. The terrains are very different. The advanced, intermediate, beginner slopes, you can see trees, you can ski downhill, you can ski bumps, you can ski flat, you can ski whatever you want. Vail Ski School is second to none. It's a great place to learn to ski whether you are eight or 80. Just take a ride on the magic carpet. We have amazing instructors, and the key is these instructors just love being with the kids. When you're on the mountain, you see kids everywhere. We have adventure zones. The instructors know these little secret places to take the kids. It's not gonna be on mom and dad's trail map. They love it. They keep coming back for more. Vail has a huge terrain, it's all on one mountain. It's known for its back bowl skiing. A lot of people will go skiing in Vail specifically for, for the bowls and for the powder. In the late 19th century, there was a large fire that actually cleared out land below the tree line. What that means is that it's warm, sunny, not as rugged as some of the higher mountain peaks. And that's really what Vail is known for. Wide open, very few trees on these runs. You can ski from bowl to bowl to bowl and never ski the same run twice, even in a week if you don't want to. A great day of skiing can't be complete without a great evening of apres. Vail has it all. A great nightlife surrounded by a great atmosphere. Our founders have Austrian heritage, European heritage. It's vibrant, it's fun. There is no shortage of world-class accommodation in Vail. But for the ski enthusiast, it's the mountain that does all the talking. Once you've skied all 5,000 acres, Vail has so many other fun things, you'll never run out of stuff to do. So when it's time to ski a different run every time out, fail our number three ski vacation will be sure to accommodate you. Coming up, the super posh number two pick on Uber Guide's countdown of ski vacations. Does it really get any better than this? Welcome back. Uber Guide's list of the world's top ski vacations has taken us from heaven to earth and everywhere in between. Now we head back to Switzerland. Coming in at number two is the place that put Ritzy into skiing. Tucked away in the southeast corner of the Swiss Alps, just north of the Italian border, you'll find one of the world's playgrounds for the rich and famous. If you've got money to burn, San Moritz is the place for you. 
a place where more than just the chocolate is rich. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's one of the most incredible ski places I've been. Shopping, nightlife, the food is spectacular. The skiing is terrific. It's just a beautiful, picturesque place to be. On any given day, the private jets line up on the runway of this uber-exclusive ski resort, known for its regular gaggle of well-moneyed mega-rich. When they arrive in town, they head straight for any one of more than a dozen high-end five-star hotels. The oldest and boldest is the castle on the hill, Badrut's Palace. And with a name like that, it knows it must deliver five-star service fit for a king. The hotel has a real soul, and we have so much tradition and history because that's something that the guests really, really value. Its exclusive lobby is not just for anyone. Evening guests are required to dress the part. More than 100 years old, this palace hotel has hosted kings, queens, and entertainment royalty. From the likes of Alfred Hitchcock to Marlene Dietrich, very famous people have stayed here. Upstairs on the fifth floor, you'll find one of two Uber suites. This is the Helen Badrut suite. Elegant furnishings, five rooms, and a supreme view make it one of the most sought after hotel rooms in all of Europe. It's something very special. We have several guests who stayed here when they were younger, who came with their parents, and now they bring their family. Sam Moritz is built at the base of an enormous mountain covered with gondolas, chairlifts, and a train that defies gravity. San Moritz is great because there's a lot of off-piste skiing, 218 runs and 56 uh, lifts to get you around. It's one of the most beautiful areas in the world. I backpacked around Europe, and this was the place that I found and decided, hey, you cannot find any better. With all that skiing, visitors here work up an appetite, and no average meal will do if you are an Uber traveler. Even on ski slopes, the best of the best is expected. And at Matias' restaurant, they deliver. Diners flock here for their famous truffle pizza, a divine creation of thin crust, warm cheese, and paper-thin slices of truffles. It was phenomenal. I've never had a thinner pizza in my life. San Moritz is famous for its long runs, luscious views, and passion for pushing the limits in winter sport. This mecca for mountain sports has hosted the Olympics not once, but twice. Down on the lake, horse racing fans watch the ponies chew up the icy track. A short walk away, you can sign up and race a bobsled down a World Cup course. It's an area that is known as an initiator. The first ski school in Switzerland, the first motorized flight on Swiss territory. It's actually the place, the birthplace of modern competitive winter sports. For the skier with a taste of adventure, we go skiing, yeah? Oh, bye. Three, two, one. They offer a shortcut down to the village. Strung under the air taxi. A tandem hang glider that launches visitors off the mountain. People love it. I wish the hang glider is its closest feeling to be a bird. That's really. The flight lasts about 30 minutes and takes guests on a blood-pumping ride just above the treetops, down through the village for a landing just beyond your suite at Ritz Palace. That was by far the coolest thing I have ever done in my life. I love San Moritz. For pretty much inventing the ski holiday and winter sports, San Moritz, Switzerland, you are the number two Uber ski resort. Coming up, the moment we've all been waiting for. Uber Guide reveals the planet's top ski vacation destination. Next. Uber Guide is back, locked and loaded. It's time to unveil the number one ski vacation on the planet. With most of the Canadian province of British Columbia covered by snow-capped mountains, it stands to reason that somewhere deep inside these peaks is a world-class ski resort. 
A short drive north from Vancouver transports you to a place that takes your breath away. Here you'll find scenery like nowhere else on earth. You'll also find Uber Guide's number one ski vacation, Whistler. Whistler has two hills with more than 8,000 skiable acres between them, Whistler and Blackcomb Mountains. Together, they make up the largest ski locale in North America. Each boasts over 5,000 feet of vertical drop and longest runs of more than seven miles. People come from all around the world to ski Whistler Blackcomb. It has more terrain, more high-speed lift capacity, has more snow than uh, most resorts in the world. It's uh, Canada's most spectacular resort. Whistler is so good, it's the home of the 2010 Winter Olympics. The 21st Olympic Winter Games in 2010 are awarded to Vancouver. Whistler and Blackcomb have so much to offer right now. The skiing is absolutely fantastic. It's always been a great resort, but I think that it's never had a better moment. Great skiing is only one reason why the International Olympic Committee chose Whistler. There's something for everybody here. It's a combination of all of it, the snow, the culture, just everything. It's just a great place to be. Tons of terrain. The nightlife is incredible. There's over 200 bars and restaurants in town. Yes, you really can do it all in Whistler. But it's the hotels that really make Whistler the uber-exclusive ski resort that it is. And the top of the heap is the exquisite Fairmont Chateau Whistler, the only ski-in, ski-out hotel on the mountain. We are in one of two penthouse suites, 1,200 square feet in the lap of luxury. 25-foot floor-to-ceiling windows give you the most spectacular views of Whistler. Really, there's no better place to be. The hotel offers world-class meals, an exclusive club, and the most relaxing spa experience around. To really appreciate Whistler, you need to get out. For the best in fine dining, the Rimrock Restaurant is the locals' number one choice. You can come in, you can relax. It's not a stuffy place, it's very casual, but the service is great and the food is incredible. But despite the fabulous temptations in the village, it's the skiing that'll get your skin tingling. The mountain is beautiful. A really nice place. Just the different terrain. There's so much to choose from. I've been here five times, and still there's so much to see. The people, the place, it's so nice, it's wonderful. I like everything. Number one, definitely. Whistler blows them all away. <laughs> How's that? Whistler is also known for its kids camp. A week's worth of lessons for the kids so you can go and explore the mountain on your own. We have got instructors from all over the world speaking many different languages. You know, you can drop your kids off in the morning. Our instructors can take care of them for the day, teach them how to ski. We've also got um, part of our ski school, we do babysitting as well. Absolutely prefer coming here. Very attractive place, wonderful rides, really. You can get lost the entire day. Two mountains side by side and 38 lifts. You can kind of ski wherever you want, basically. And you could be at the top for, for great pow, in the middle for some good groomed runs, and then you ski on down to the valley for some great apres, maybe a beer or two. Really can't compare the two mountains to uh, any other resort in the world, for sure. After your day on the hill, relax in the pedestrian-only village. Whistler prides itself on the walk wherever you need quality the village provides. The village has just this vibe that's just kind of hard to describe really. I mean, there's lots of friendly people, people from all over the world come here. Everybody's so happy to be here. It's almost like you're, you know, in a, in a fantasy land, I guess. Ritzy restaurants, all-star accommodation, gnarly nightlife, and world-class superb skiing. This place caters to everyone. 
and is the reason Whistler is Uber Guide's number one ski vacation on the planet. The search for the ultimate winter experience is an ambitious challenge. Is it really just a matter of elevation and descent? Is the choice based on incredible facilities and services? Does gourmet food and luxurious accommodation play into the equation? Those who have seen it all want it all. And they'll find it all on Uber Guide's list of the world's best ski vacations.